Hello and welcome back to Robo. Hope you are doing well and staying safe. And in this video, we'll be transforming our everyday Google Sheet to a web server using Google Apps Script. And to make the project more interesting, we'll be using Chat GPT to make the whole code for us. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll let you know the whole process. Before we start, let's check out all the necessary parts that are required to build this project. First, we'll need a ESP32 board, a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor, a pair of breadboards, a OLED display, some jumper wires, and to power the whole thing up, we'll be using the USB cable. So to make the project a success, what we'll be doing is create a new sheet with the sheet.new command. Then we have to open the app script tab, create our own JavaScript code, deploy the code, generate the API. And when all that is done, we have to write the ESP32 code. And with, now we have to get the temperature and humidity data. And when we got the data, we'll use the API to store the data into the newly created sheet. Now at this point, we can continue on with our video, do the JavaScript code, do the ESP code and we can continue on just like that but as we are living in the age of ai and we know the chat gpt and its ability to write code so we'll utilize that to write the whole code for us so what we'll be doing is we'll giving chat gpt custom prompts to generate the code for us and we'll try to make it as error free as possible and in the end we'll see if the code if that code works or not so now let's open up chat gpt and give it all the instructions to generate the code so we'll go to chat.openai.com and make a new chat we'll select chat gpt4 for better results and we'll select code interpreter Now we'll give all the instruction. So my first instruction will be write me the ESP32 code for Arduino ID to get the temperature and humidity data for the DHT22 sensor and send that data to Google Sheet. Write me the code for that Google Apps Kit and give me all the instruction in details. So after going a little bit back and forth with ChatGPT, I was very happy with what it has given to us. Now what we'll do is we'll just copy in the code and paste in the code to Google Apps Script and Arduino ID and verify the results. Now to do so, what we'll do is create new sheet with the sheet.new command, go to extension and then app script and we'll paste the app script code here. Now we'll click on the deploy button, select new deployment, click on the settings icon, give the app a name and change the access type to anyone has access. When that is done, you'll need to give all the necessary permissions and you'll have your API link. With that, with this API, you'll be easily able to put the data to Google Sheet. But this process didn't work for me and I have to go extra length to make this project working. So what I have did is uh, repeat the step again and in place of web app, I had to select API executable and then I had to uh, click on deploy again. So after that, I got the link and this link worked for me. Now what we'll do is we'll copy the Arduino code from chat GPT and paste in the code to Arduino ID. Then we'll select the update time from 30 minutes to 10 seconds as we are testing and we'll save and upload the code. If everything worked correctly, your code should get compiled and uploaded to USB device. And in the serial monitor window, you can see the date, time, the temperature and humidity data getting printed. If that's the case, you can also see the app data is getting saved to Google Sheets. With that, we have come to the end part of this video. And if I was going too fast with the code and explanation process, then don't worry. We have made a detailed blog about this project, which we can find in the link given in the description. You can go ahead and check that out for more information. So with that, this is Devashi signing off. Tata. Bye bye.